guys, it's Angela with Panda Kisses, and we are going to make Parker on the Porch's mermaid, look how cute, banner piece. So let's get started. I have the 5x7 design loaded on my machine. This is my 5x7 hoop, and it is hooped with tearaway stabilizer. So let's get started. Our first step, you always stitch the placement step onto your stabilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what your placement stitch looks like. Now this is the hair of the mermaid. So whatever color you want your hair to be on this mermaid, that's which color you want to put right here. So I'm going to go ahead, yes, I'm using pink for my mermaid's hair. I want it to match my octopus piece that I've already done. So I'm going to go ahead and place that over the placement lines and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch step two, which is just going to tack that down to our stabilizer. So I'll come back and show you what it looks Here. like tack down. So I'm going to move on to the next step and I'm using um, skin tone color, whatever you want your mermaid skin color to be, use that thread now. And I'm going to go ahead and step, stitch step three, which are her little arms, the outlines. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll come back and like. Now our next step is to go ahead and do the placement stitch for the applique for her skin, like her head and body. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do that placement stitch in the same thread color and I'll come back and show you what it looks that like. Outline, that's the placement stitch. You need to get a fabric big enough to go over that and that's the mermaid's body and face. So whatever color you want that to be, go ahead and put it down. Run the next step which is going to tack this fabric down. Step five. I'm going to run that. I'll come back and show you. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. We're going to go ahead and use applique scissors, they look like this, to cut as close as we can to these stitches and get the excess off. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting close here. You want to get as close as you can get without cutting the actual stitches. These curved scissors let you get really close in there. Okay, I'm just going to clean up this a little bit. It looks like there's some excess here that can go. Okay, I think I got it as close as I can. You want to get it as close as you can because you're going to be doing um, some satin stitches over it and you want to make sure that this fabric doesn't show on the other side of your satin stitches. But that's what it looks like so far. So I'm going to go back to the machine and I will show you what to do next. Okay, I'm back on my machine and our next step, step six, is to go ahead and do those satin stitches around the mermaid's body and face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm keeping my same color. I'm going to stitch that and I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, there's that satin stitching. So now we're going to do some details on the mermaid's face. We're going to do the cheeks. So I changed to that pink and I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. I'll come back and now show we're you. we're going to move on to the next detail, which is her eyes and her mouth. Sorry, that's step eight. Go ahead and stitch it. I changed to black and I'm going to go ahead and okay. do that. There's her eyes and her mouth. Now where you're going to go ahead and do her hair outline right here. It's going to be a satin stitch that goes up like this. I'm going to go ahead and do that pink because I have the pink hair and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. This is step nine. Go ahead and run it. Okay guys, this is what her hair looks like right there. So now if you don't trim this Extra, excess fabric right here now it's gonna stitch over it you can see I went to the next step and it stitched over it so I just pulled out those stitches real quick so let's trim this first before we do that next step so I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> this tails gonna come all the way up here so you're gonna want to cut nice now so you don't have to get in here later so well with this pink anyways so I'm just gonna cut along these stitch lines right here just to get this fabric out of the way. Later, some designs it doesn't matter because this part, the next part doesn't go up onto where your fabric is, but this one does if you have 
fabric right any bigger than right here it's gonna see so see the difference right here so you're gonna want to trim all the way up here later you're just gonna cut this so it doesn't matter you don't have to get it out of the way you could also like trim this pink out of here too because it doesn't matter your next fabrics gonna take over this spot this one this piece didn't make that big of a deal right here because um, you're gonna have fabric over it and it's not gonna overlap okay so if you just trim around this is where your next placements gonna go and I just need to get that fabric out of there first so I'm gonna go ahead and restitch my placement I'm gonna bring you over to the machine and show you so just know before you do this next step to go ahead and trim around this so you don't have um, your stitches going over it because it wouldn't have mattered right here because our next fabric is going to go over it but this inside piece right here it's going to be harder to cut later so that's why you want to get it out of there okay so I'm going to bring you back to the machine and I will show you what's next okay there's that placement stitch it went ahead and went down so now I'm going to take my um, fabric I'm using down here I'm going to use this pretty teal canvas vinyl so you just want to make sure it goes over all these placement stitches so I'm going to go ahead and put it up like that and now you're going to go ahead and stitch the next step step 11 which tacks that down so I'll come back and show you what that looks like okay here's the front we're going to go ahead and cut around right here get this fabric off because we're going to do some satin stitches here in a little bit so I'm going to just cut um, around this and I'm not making it super perfect but I am getting this fabric off okay now here you're gonna want to make it close it's gonna matter because your satin stitches you don't want those to show on the other side so get this as close as you can right here. The other part doesn't necessarily matter right now because we're going to be cutting around this later. But I'm going to just get it kind of clean so it's not hard later. Okay, so get this a little closer right here. So now once you get that that part cut and clean sorry I'm just gonna go a little bit more okay, once you get that cut close there's gonna be satin stitches right here so you want to make sure this is really close to the stitches this other area I just cut to get it out of the way and um, we're ready to go back to the machine I'll show you what we're doing over there machine now we are gonna do some details on to this mermaid fin we're gonna do these cute little mermaid scale so I'm gonna go ahead and run step 12 and I'm gonna use purple for that and I will come back and show you what it looks like okay there's what those mermaid scales look like now the next detail is gonna go on to the tail fin right here it's just gonna do this little outline on the inside I'm gonna keep it the same color and I'm gonna go ahead and run that I'll come back and show okay. you there's that detail now we're gonna go ahead and do the satin stitches right here you can change the color or leave it the same color whatever you prefer I'm gonna go ahead and stitch mine the same purple and I will come back and show you. I went ahead and did that satin stitch. So now I'm moving on to doing the stars. So I'm going to go ahead and change my thread. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch that part. And I'll come back and show okay, you. Okay, there we are. I went ahead and did the stars. Now there's a little detail running through the stars. I'm going to make that purple. So I changed my thread. I'm going to run that. And I'll come back and show you. Now we are almost done. This is... um our last stitch on the front before we put the back on so we're gonna do stitch the outline over here by her hair so I'm gonna go ahead I'm outlining in black you can see here so I'm gonna go ahead I changed my thread to black I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that it's gonna do these two lines on either side of her hair now if you wanted your color to be the color of her hair go ahead and pick that color but I'm doing black so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like Okay guys, this is what the front of your mermaid looks like. She's super cute. Now we're gonna go on to the back of our hoop, flip your hoop over, and now we're gonna put the back on. 
And I use felt for this. This is a banner, so felt's fine with me. If you would prefer to use vinyl, go for it. You just want a big enough piece of um, fabric to cover her up, so her placement stitches. And then I'm just using regular tape um, just to stick it down. You just want it to hold it so it doesn't move while it's stitching the next step. The next step um, attaches the back to the front. So I just got some tape on here. And now you just bring it back over to your machine. We're going to go ahead and stitch the next step and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, you can see it went ahead and stitched the hair. So there's two steps on the last one once you put the back on. It has the hair stitch separate from the bottom so you could, I could have done this pink and then I could have done this purple to match my colors. Um, I'm doing the whole thing in black so it doesn't matter to me but it does separate those steps for you so you can choose two different colors from the top to the bottom. So I went ahead and stitched that top. So I'm stitching the very last step, step 19, and it's going to do the outline of the mermaid fin now. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch it, and then I'll come back and show you it. Okay, guys, here's our front, our finished mermaid. Here's the back. You can see it stitched it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off our hoop. I'm going to take all the stabilizer off. You can take the tape off, or it's not as big of a deal. I like to take my stabilizer off in big pieces because if you just cut it, it's okay, but then I can see the white stabilizer between the layers and it bugs me. So it's just one of my um, things that I do. I take it off at the beginning. So now we're going to cut around here. You don't really have to watch for anything on banner pieces. Just don't cut your stitch line. So I'm just going to go in here and start cutting. I always put my scissors tip right where I want it to stop cutting if I'm on a corner so I don't cut my stitches but I can get really close still. And then um, I tend to try to do long cuts versus a bunch of small choppy cuts because your design kind of looks choppy in the end if you're doing a lot of short cuts. Get right there. Okay, so we're going to cut down in here. Get the right angle. I already cut around a lot of this, so I'm just following it. Sorry, some people, it's boring to watch this part, I'm sure. <clears throat> I am almost done. Okay, there we are. So we have our mermaid done. This is what she looks like. She's super cute. And um, I can bring this and show you. There's a hole between the front and the back lining so it can be a cute little banner piece she's super cute super fun she's really easy to do um hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna um show you all of the pieces together and putting it together as a banner so stay tuned for that hi guys i am here and i'm going to show you how to put this banner together we i did the tutorial for each piece of the banner the mermaid banner from parker on the porch and now i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with it you can just take ribbon and put it 
or any type of fabric really and put it through. There's holes back here and I use um, this dowel thing. You could use a chopstick or something like that. I wanted to show you, I went ahead and bought, there was these cute little um, banner at the Dollar Tree store or whatever. So, and there was lots of colors. This was blue and then there was a pink. So these are a dollar each. There's purple, um, white. There were some other colors I didn't get. Um, I'm going to use this yellow one. I picked yellow. So the instructions tell you how to do it. You just kind of puff it up and um, it becomes these cute little um, banner ball things. Now I'm going to, to get these on, these are Sorry, they're going all over. They're already connected on this string. I'm gonna actually cut right here and put my banner piece through it. So let me show you how you, I'm gonna do that. And you, the thing that's kind of nice about that is if you wanted a different color, say you wanted different colors, you could do the same process and use some of the other colors and put it that way. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right here. And then I'm going to put it through. I'm going to, there's not an easy way to get these through. I tape um, basically whatever I'm using to the end of the stick like this. Doop, just for a second. And then I feed it through like this. And then it comes through. Now usually this is really long. Because, but because what I'm doing, it's not. So I just need to get the string through like that. So she's through. Now I'm going to tie a knot right here. I'm just going to tie these two together. Now this is where if you wanted a different color, you could take the end of another one and tie the knot right there. Let's see how I'm going to do this. They're kind of short, so I'm going to tie it real quick. I can get both ends and tie it, okay? So I don't need it real tight, but there we go. So then I'm gonna pull it through, and there you go. Now she's in the middle of these two. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I wanna put, um, this was the mermaid one. We went. I went through the tutorial, so you can watch the tutorial. And then I'm gonna put this um, seashell, the beach please, through. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut in the middle. I'm going to tape it onto the end of my dowel. I'm just going to tape it here real quick. I'm going to put it through so it gets fed through. Okay, I'm going to take my tape off. Right there, take my dowel out, and I'm going to tie these two. So the tying's a little bit hard. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to pull this through, and you won't see where the tie is because it's inside of the um, banner piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the next one. Some stabilizer here. I'm going to tape it on. I actually have to make one more of these little banner pieces too because you want one on the other side of this. So you just push it through super easy. Take the tape off. Cut that because it's fraying. And you're going to tie it back to this one. Sorry, I'm trying to rush because so you guys can see. Okay, that's tied and then I'm going to pull it through so you won't see it. Now there's one more of these that I'm going to open. Oh. I can show you like just a second of what it does. You really just go like, it comes like this. You really just pull it apart like this, keep the string in the middle, and then you just separate these little pieces and pull them. Try not to tear them like I just did. 
but you just separate them one by one and it ends up making that little ball. It's pretty easy, but I'm not gonna go through that with you on camera, but you can picture what it looks like. So I'll have this, this, and there. Super cute, and then we'll have our banner. I'll take, move that back so you can kind of see it. I'll take pictures of it hanging so you can see, but that's how you go ahead and put the banner piece together. Hope that helps.